Hello, my name is Dan Wallace and I'm a high school science teacher from Pennsylvania, currently teaching uh, ninth grade astronomy in the Quakertown Community School District. Uh, I've been asked to share some examples of digital learning that I use in the class as, as part of the special Digital Learning Day celebration event in Washington, D.C. this year. In my opinion, digital learning can really manifest itself in a, in a lot of different forms, um, but it's definitely my pleasure to share some of the strategies and digital learning resources that I use to help my students learn some basic astronomy concepts. Uh, one of the units that I think really does a great job exemplifying the incorporation of digital learning is my Celestial Sphere and Sky Motion Mechanics unit. Now, the concepts presented in this unit really necessitate um, higher level abstract thinking, uh, complex modeling, inquiry, uh, and, the, and the ability to manipulate uh, and draw conclusions from dynamic three-dimensional visuals. So needless to say, uh, the celestial sphere mechanics and, and trying to figure out how the sky moves from different latitudes and why it appears to move that way can really be a challenge for the average freshman in high school. Uh, knowing this, it's really imperative for the astronomy educator uh, to use whatever tools he can to help communicate the essential understandings uh, and the salient points of the celestial sphere concept. Uh, I found some really wonderful digital learning resources that the students really enjoy and that helped me tremendously in teaching these concepts throughout this unit. So the short lesson that I'm preparing for the Digital Learning Day event uh, will highlight some of these digital learning resources uh, that I use in the classroom as well as my corresponding pedagogy and implementation techniques for those resources. It's not really my uh, wish or my intention to sell these digital resources even though they're they're all kind of free so I don't need to sell them anyway but I do want to help broadcast the fact that we live in an age of software development uh, which can really be explored and utilized to the great advantage of educators digital learning has the ability to be an authentic learning experience and although these experiences may not be as highly acclaimed as first-hand learning in the field may be they often serve to excite, inspire, and take our students where we simply can't take them. Uh, for a subject like astronomy, learning the universe from the confines of a classroom really has its limitations. Um, but in the absence of, say, a beautiful starry night or uh, a planetarium, these digital learning resources at least let me uh, allow my students a, a window to peer through uh, and kind of gaze at the heavens uh, without actually going there. So let's take a quick look at some of the digital learning resources that I like to employ. Um, the first stop would be the skysurvey.org. And this is a website made by a guy named Nick Risslinger. And he did a really great job of uh, over a year, I think, going around all the world and taking pictures of the sky with some really advanced optical cameras um, and stitching them all together to make a huge panoramic view of the sky for us. And the students love this because, you know, it's viewing the sky from the perspective of the Earth, but the Earth isn't there. So you can look all around, you can look down through your feet where you'd normally see the ground and see what the southern hemisphere sky looks like. Uh, you can look into the galactic plane to see all the dark nebula and all the wonderful colors from the hydrogen gases that are created uh, deep inside of our own galaxy. So the students really like this and you can put the constellations on them uh, to show just where in the sky you are. Another great resource that I'll highlight in my lesson on the Digital Learning Day event would be uh, University of Nebraska Lincoln's Rotating Sky Explorer, and this is um, a deceivingly simple yet really powerful three-dimensional celestial sphere modeling uh, software that the students can explore through a lab. They can add stars and see how they're going to move. They can do star trails. They can look at the altitude and azimuth. Uh, the animation can run continuously or for a certain number of hours that you need. And you can change your latitude and see how that's going to affect what the sky is going to look like all around. So this is a really dynamic and multifaceted piece of software that I really like to use with the students. And then the final piece of software that I'd like to highlight would be Stellarium. And a lot of us know what this is already. A lot of us use this. Um, but Stellarium is a great nighttime sky planetarium software, which um, can do a great job of communicating how the sky moves from, there goes the bell, so my students are going to come in in a second. So i got to wrap this up, but this will be another piece of software that, I, that I'll highlight during the Digital Learning Day um, event, and I uh, hope to see everybody there, and hope you guys can uh, get a lot from this little video and all the kinds of stuff that I like to use in the classroom.